Bizdoc Server Architecture The core functionality of Bizdoc Server is messaging. In this video, let us take a look at the basic messaging architecture of Bizdoc. The basic message flow follows a publish subscribe pattern. A message comes in to BizDoc. It gets published to the BizDoc message box. The message is processed as needed. A subscriber waits for the processed message. Once it appears in the message box, it's pulled by the subscriber and sent out. Now, let's take a look at the full process. Messages come in via a receive port and go out via send port. In the receive port, messages are received through a receive adapter. The adapter provides the communication with the sending system. So, each transport mechanism like reading from a file or a REST API has a different receive adapter. The message received through an adapter is passed through a receive pipeline. The receive pipeline can have multiple functions like converting a REST message into XML, perform a transformation, or validate the digital signature of a message. Here is a point to note. BizDoc server works on XML. So, any message coming into BizDoc for processing needs to be either already in XML format or needs to be converted to XML at this point. The only exception is when streaming messages without actual processing inside of BizDoc server. The logical combination of receive adapter and receive pipeline is called a receive location. A single type of message could be received from multiple sources using different transport mechanisms and may need to be processed by a single BizDoc process. To accommodate this, BizDoc uses a logical container called receive port. A receive port can have one or more receive locations. BizDoc server uses a publish subscribe mechanism to keep everything loosely coupled. So, at this point, the message coming out of the receive port is published to the BizDoc message box, which is a Microsoft SQL Server database. Messages are now ready for business logic. BizDoc applies business logic in one or more orchestrations. An orchestration subscribes to this message and pulls it into the runtime process from the database. Logic is applied in the orchestration and the output message is then published to the message box database. Now the message is ready to be sent out through the send port. Here is a point to note. If there is no additional logic needed to be applied to the message coming from the receive port, it can also directly be pulled out through the send port. The send port has similar functionality as the receive port. The message goes through a send pipeline where the message can be processed, like converting from XML to another format or add a digital signature. The processed message goes through a send adapter, which also supports different transport mechanisms to communicate with the external system.